some productive things you can do in five minutes while social distancing. Or if you're sick and have concerning symptoms, get a corona test. The newest test takes just five minutes. And then he cabled me and said, I've got insulin, it works, come home quick. We ran out of insulin too. Some of our patients who had been treated and were well died from lack of insulin. That was a hectic time, particularly for me because I was supposed to make it again. And uh, of course we did rediscover how to do it and the secret can never be, be lost. Thank you for your patience as we complete COVID-19 screenings with other callers. Appointments lost in COVID-19 test kits are limited. Those who are experiencing COVID-19 symptoms will be scheduled based on availability. Same-day appointments may not be available. Hey guys, so as many of you already know, I'm a firefighter. I work with patients and uh, on my last shift I recently went to the hospital and uh, I was working with a patient who didn't have uh, any corona type symptoms, but I'm sure I was around a bunch of them. <laughs> so I've been off of uh, shift for a couple days and I started to um, start experiencing, you know, fatigue and body aches. Now I'm starting to have a very dry, persistent cough and, uh, and it's getting worse. This morning uh, I started feeling like, like hard to hold a big breath. This might be something bad. I'm currently on hold with the hospital right now to see if I can get testing. So that's what you hear in the background there. Anyway, so, uh, you know, as diabetics, they say we have underlying symptoms and maybe we're more prone to getting COVID-19. I don't really know. I know I, I'm really good with my health. Um, I eat really clean and I work out a lot. So, um, I've been hoping that that kind of would shift things in my favor, but I don't know. We'll see here. I, looks like I'm going to try to get tested today, so I'll keep you guys updated. It's uh, day four. Um, I went and got my COVID test yesterday. Uh, I was fortunate enough that there's a program at a local urgent care that is offering them for first responders. Um, if not, I would have had to go through... Um, a normal screening uh, like at a local urgent care or wait in line um, through the ones that they're giving out um, at a local hospital fortunately I called that line two days in a row and I still haven't been able to get one um, so thank you so much for the people that are supporting first responders um, started to feel a little bit better yesterday um, kind of was thinking I don't even probably shouldn't be taking this test um, maybe it would be better off if somebody else had it but um, this morning, I, f I woke up feeling pretty good, took a shower, shaved my face. Now I'm feeling really bad again, and I got a lot of congestion going on all of a sudden. So we'll see how it goes. I get my test results in anywhere from two to five days. So I'll keep you up updated. Now this immediately prompted my wife to keep me quarantined in my room until the results came back. But luckily after two days, which felt like two years, I was cleared with a negative COVID test and able to return back to general population. But wouldn't you know it, now there's a stinking five minute test, which is great for anyone who's ever lost their mind in quarantine. Two, three, four. <laughs> so let's talk about the facts in the prick. So prior to Abbott's new test, the process was pretty straightforward. If you're able to score a drive-up test or a drive-through test, this was set up by appointment only, usually over the phone. All documents were then emailed to you to fill out, sign, and then return before your test. Now at the time of your appointment, you'll drive out to your appointed testing site, mine was about 25 minutes away, and you may see signs that guide you over to the testing center. 
a good rule of thumb if you're lost is just look for an external tent, usually white in color, where people are dressed like they're about to extract an organ to sell on the black market. You'll drive up to the spot and get in line while remaining in your vehicle. Now I thought I knew what I was expecting because prior to this on TV I had seen people get the elephant sized q-tip shoved up their nose and I thought I could handle that but unfortunately for me and the guy ahead of me this test involves shoving the elephant sized q-tip to the back of your throat. So there I was like a baby bird mouth wide open packing up junk all over this guy and I guess the tech was pretty used to this because the guy didn't even flinch. The throat swab then gets sealed and shipped off to the nearest identification facility which in many cases is usually states away from wherever you're at. And then you drive off feeling a little bit confused and a lot of it violated and two to five days later you receive your results either through an email or through a phone call. In my case it was a phone call. Now it was a bit of a strange experience but thank god I'm healthy and I'm lucky to have tested negative. But on March 27th Abbott received an emergency use authorization by the FDA and the EAU. This authorization gave approval to the fastest COVID-19 test available on the market. The test is run through an Abbott ID Now platform. It's a small six pound machine that is now changing the world through the process called molecular point of care testing. The Abbott website states that molecular testing technologies help detect the presence of a virus by identifying a small section of the virus genome, then amplifying that portion until there's enough for detection. This process can cut testing wait times from hours, if not days, to as little as 5 minutes for positive results and 13 minutes for negative results. Abbott's ID Now device is capable of identifying other diseases like influenza A and B, strep A, and RSV. But this week, Abbott plans to use this nifty device to deliver 50,000 COVID-19 tests daily. So what's that mean to us? Time for some honest talk and the squeeze. Look, I get it, social distancing sucks. And quarantine, quarantine is much, much worse. quarantine for two days and I thought I was losing my mind and I have no idea what Italy is dealing with now as Italy and other sections of the world are in complete lockdown but until we receive a vaccine or a cure this could very well be the glimmer of hope we've been waiting for so if you or a family member recently got a test for COVID-19 I'd love to hear your experience in the comments below I hope this video and information was useful to you I'm Ben I'm Me. see you next time